Greetings, new recruits. Welcome to week one of sixth grade beginning band lessons. This week, we will focus on making solid and consistent sounds on your head joint, mouthpiece, or drum head. This video will step you through all that is covered during week one and aid you in your at home practice. Now, let's make some music. We will begin our lesson with the trumpet case. Place the trumpet on the ground with the top side facing up. For some of you, you have a symbol indicating the top of your case. If you don't have this symbol, find the latches on your trumpet and make sure that they are unbuckled going upward rather than downward. Open the case and view the instrument. You should see two parts inside, and they are the mouthpiece and the body. For week one, we will only focus on the mouthpiece before moving on to the other part. First and foremost, find the mouthpiece and hold it with both hands like a tiny trumpet. Before we ever make a sound on any instrument, we must make sure that we are sitting properly. Working our way up, our feet must be flat on the, on the ground. Our backs must be straight and off of the back of the chair. And our head and chin up and facing forward. We must always prepare our body before putting air in our instrument. Now, lick your lips. Say the letter M and place the mouthpiece on your lips. The mouthpiece should be placed in between your top and bottom lip. Breathe through the sides of your mouth and blow. When we breathe, we must breathe from the sides of our mouth without letting go of the mouthpiece like this. Now, let's make a sound. Breathe in and try to make a sound like this. I'll go first. You try. Ready? I'll go. Ready? Your turn. Ready? Make sure the end of the mouthpiece is pointing straight out. It should not be on a harsh angle or off to the side. Let's try our mouthpiece exercise with the mouthpiece again. Place the mouthpiece between your lips. Ready? Let me try. It should sound something like this. Your turn. Ready? If you didn't get a sound like I did, try this a few times by first making sure that your lips are together when you play. Or manipulate the mouthpiece by putting it maybe slightly higher on your lips or slightly lower on your mouth and blowing more or less air. Take some time and find your sweet spot. The sweet spot is where you play on the mouthpiece and can make the same sound every time, like I did. Your air must be fast, like a jet of water. If your lips and air are like this, we won't get the sound that we are after. We must try to focus our air into a strong stream through our lips and into the mouthpiece to produce that trumpet sound that we are after and which is necessary to play consistently. 
take some time to find your sweet spot and make sure that the same sound is coming out every single time. Now that we've found our sweet spot, let's play a little. We're going to try the Macomb 4x4. Four four. We will play for four counts, and then we will rest for four counts for a total of four times. I'll go first. One, two, three. <gasps> One, two, three. <gasps> and Notice how each time I played, I played the same way. I did not do this. <gasps> Every time we play, we want to play the exact same way every time. Now, let's do this together. Mouthpieces up, find our sweet spot, sitting up nice and tall, feet flat on the floor, back straight, and here we go. Ready? One, two, ready? <gasps> Great job so far. Let's do this all again. Ready? Mouthpiece up. Find the sweet spot. Sitting up nice and tall, feet flat on the floor, and our back is straight. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready. <gasps> Nice work. I want you to practice this Macomb 4x4 four more times today. It should take only about five minutes each round. After each round, go do something else. Play outside. Ride your bike. Play with your cat. Do your homework. Then do another Macomb 4x4 for a total of four times every day. Practicing as often as you can will make you a more confident player and will help foster good habits. I hope you had a great session today. Remember to focus on making the same sound every time. If you have trouble, come back to class with any questions. Your teachers are here to help. Try and try again, and if you get stuck, come back to class with those questions. Happy practicing.